Geospatial data types. If we were to represent the real world in a digital format, we might take one or two approaches, vector or raster. Vector represents the world in points, slides, and polygons, while raster uses rows and columns. What data format is being used usually depends on the type of data. Vectors are composed of coordinates and are best suited to man-made features with defined locations and boundaries. Rasters are composed of pixels and are best suited to variables, usually environmental, that change over surfaces, such as, such as temperature, precipitation, or elevation. While data may be better suited to one format or another, you are able to switch between vector and raster format to use different tools. Here you see an example of points, lines, and polygons, and all three combined. Based on how these vector layers are color-coded and symbolized, what might this data set represent? If you guessed transportation, you would be correct. These are the subway stops, lines, and towns in Boston, United States. Here there are examples of rasters, such as aerial photographs, a digital elevation model, and a scanned map, all of which are constructed from pixels. Lastly, you can convert tabular data, such as those in a spreadsheet, into spatial data, as long as your table contains some sort of spatial information. These may include unique identifiers that can be joined to pre-existing vector data files, latitude and longitude, or street addresses.